What if I told you Elon Musk's next Tesla won't drive, but fly? Not a rumor, not sci-fi. Actual prototype production is happening right now in Texas, and the craziest part And today on Road Zone Reviews, we're diving into two exciting new products. What was once dismissed as a sci-fi fantasy or just another tech rumor has now officially entered reality. Elon Musk has unveiled a game changer that goes well beyond Tesla's current lineup of electric vehicles. And when we say different, we mean revolutionary. If the reports are accurate, 2026 could be the year that sparks an entirely new chapter in transportation. That's right. Tesla's flying car isn't just a concept anymore. According to leaks, prototype production is already underway at Giga Texas. It's almost unbelievable how Musk is managing to juggle so many innovations at once. Underground, he's building fully autonomous robotaxis, and above us, we might soon witness Tesla flying cars lifting off within just a few short years. Of course, this futuristic machine will require a special license due to safety regulations, and believe it or not, the anticipated price point. They're just under $10,000. If these leaks hold up, the flying car may actually be much easier to manufacture than we imagined. Musk has hinted that Tesla already possesses the parts and production capacity at Giga Texas. Nothing. Behind keeping cost low, but why would Elon Musk pivot into flying vehicles now? And will countries like China be able to match this pace? Let's uncover the leaked strategies behind Tesla's new flying car, right here on Tesla Car World. As many of us know, Musk has a history of chasing bold, futuristic ideas. From colonizing Mars with SpaceX, to restoring human functionality with Neuralink, to building high-speed transportation systems like the Hyperloop, he's always thinking far ahead. With Tesla's flying car, it's clear he's taking aim at one of the most pressing global challenges. Traffic congestion. The idea of a personal vehicle that lifts off into the sky, bypasses gridlock and dramatically reduces travel time is something many dream of. Not only would it extend range and cut costs, but it would also shift the entire paradigm of personal transportation. That said, flying a car isn't as simple as driving one. <laughs> the risk factor is significantly higher. Even minor errors or mechanical failures can have serious consequences in the air. Compared to road traffic incidents, aviation accidents typically have much lower survival rates. Tesla must, therefore, develop a vehicle that offers an extraordinary experience without compromising on fund uncompromising safety. Another motivation behind this development? Outpacing Chinese competition. While Chinese automakers can reverse engineer a Tesla Eve in a matter of weeks, matching the flying car's technology could take years. According to insider sources, the Tesla flying car will use several existing components from the Model S and Roadster, Tesla's most high-performance vehicles. That decision not only reduces development costs, but ensures the flying car inherits proven motor systems, battery platforms, and structural integrity. Still, performance isn't the biggest concern for consumers. It's safety. The flying car will need to meet stricter standards than even those for traditional aircraft. From aerodynamics and flight stabilization to predictive accident prevention systems, the engineering must be near flawless. According to the leaks, Tesla is leveraging its existing EV manufacturing pipeline to its fullest. High-capacity batteries, advanced autonomous driving systems, 
and powerful electric motors are all being reused to keep costs down. This reuse is a big reason the projected price could be under $10,000, an unheard of figure for a flying machine. Now here's where it gets wild. Tesla may not be building this alone. A secret partnership with a Slovak flying car company is changing everything. Why? Because it already works and has flown over 500 times. Due to the newness of this field, Tesla has reportedly formed a partnership with Klein Vision, a Slovak R&D company best known for developing the certified air car. This vehicle, a two-seater flying car, received its airworthiness certification from the EU Aviation Safety Agency in January 2022. Musk is said to have spent over a year working with Klein Vision to understand the nuts and bolts of engineering a viable flying vehicle. So, the Tesla flying car might operate using a very similar mechanism to Klein Vision's air car, but with Tesla's electric twist. Klein Vision, after all, has led the charge in redefining personal transport, showing that it is technically feasible to shift between land and sky. With over 500 successful test flights and 170 hours logged in the air, the air car has shown that this kind of vehicle isn't just theoretical. It's reliable. It uses a range of powerful engines, 280, 320, and 340 horsepower, on par with luxury sports cars like the Porsche 911 or even the Lamborghini Urus. The base 280 HP version is being targeted for mass rollout, offering an ideal mix of speed and efficiency. And even though it's a plane, it still feels like a car. The controls, accelerator, brake, steering wheel are all familiar. The wings fold neatly and the tail retracts, allowing it to resemble a sporty coup on the road. Its design cuts air resistance by 40%, aiding both flight performance and fuel efficiency. A panoramic windshield gives the driver a 360 degrees view, ideal for urban navigation. However, this car is clearly built for pavement, not dirt trails, due to its low profile and sleek design. Still, it offers impressive performance. 424 mph on the road, 155 mph in the sky, with a range of nearly 500 miles on land and 620 in the air, fuel tanks hold 42 gallons, and refueling can be done at any any regular gas station. Physically, the air car is about 19 feet long, about the size of a Rolls-Royce Phantom. But thanks to composite materials like carbon fiber and Kevlar, it weighs only 1764 pounds, nearly a quarter of the Phantom's weight. These materials, borrowed from aerospace manufacturing, enhance both performance and safety. And when it's time to fly, just press a button. Within 80 seconds, the wings extend, the tail deploys, and the aircraft takes off from a 300-meter runway. Once airborne, it can reach altitudes up to 10,000 feet. Transitioning back into car mode takes under two minutes. It's a remarkable example of thoughtful engineering. Deliveries for the air car are expected in early 2026, Owners will need both a driver's and pilot's license, plus two, three months of training. A fair trade for the freedom of flight. But what about Tesla? Tesla. As of now, no official Tesla flying vehicle has been launched, though an early 2026 release is expected. Unlike Climb Vision, which uses internal combustion engines and requires a runway, Tesla is aiming for an all-electric VTOL vertical takeoff and landing model. This electric first approach offers huge advantages, no emissions, reduced noise and lower operating costs. However, it also poses a challenge, battery weight, 
To be flight capable, Tesla needs a battery with high energy density but low mass. If the battery's too heavy, it won't fly. Too light, and it won't provide enough power. The solution? Tesla's 4,680 battery cells. With up to 300 WHKG energy density, they offer the sweet spot between storage and weight, allowing for longer flight times without bulky designs. Plus, they're affordable to produce at scale, thanks to Tesla's innovation in battery tech. Although we haven't seen the final design, leaks suggest a mini Roadster look with four seats, made of lightweight aluminum alloys and carbon fiber. Tesla will use GigaPress to cast the frame as a single piece, maximizing strength while minimizing complexity. The projected specs. 0, 060 MPH in just one second and flight speeds of around 150 MPH. But it's more than just about speed. The Tesla flying car will include electric jet engines inspired by SpaceX's propulsion systems. These motors offer cleaner, quieter, and more efficient flight than standard propellers. In car mode, it'll behave like a regular Tesla, complete with autopilot. Switch to flight mode, and in less than a minute, the transformation occurs. Bird-like wings deploy, the tail extends, wheels retract, and the vehicle becomes a streamlined aircraft. The landing system allows safe touchdown even in tight or uneven spaces like parking lots or rooftops, something traditional aircraft can't do. In the air, it's expected to fly up to 700 miles on a single charge of the 4680 battery. This isn't just a new product, it's a new category of vehicle. Like the original Model S or the Cybertruck, the Tesla flying car could redefine how we think about mobility, but developing a mass-market flying car isn't easy. Tesla will need to optimize cost, guarantee safety, and meet regulatory standards. The projected price? Just $6,789, which sounds almost unbelievable. To get there, Tesla might shift to aluminum ion batteries which are cheaper and lighter. Every component, from the electric lift fans to the control systems, must be both cost-effective and high performance. Testing must cover everything. Crash safety, flight stability, and weather performance. And the biggest hurdle of all? Getting full regulatory approval. Right now, there are no universal standards for flying cars. Tesla will need to work hand-in-hand -hand with aviation authorities to clear that path. This isn't just another Tesla. This could be the moment cars leave the road forever. And if Elon pulls this off for under $7,000, this isn't the future. It's the new normal.